Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I am your host, Waller, and today we're taking a look at some of Austin's greatest and most interesting statues. Austin is home to many statues that share some of the local history, state history, and national history. First, we're looking at the tall man at the Laguna Gloria, Clara Driscoll's old home. And we have this tall man just staring straight up. It looks like he's made of foil. Then, in honor of our Mexican free-tailed bats, just down south of Congress Avenue is the Nightwing statue that celebrates our wonderful bats. We also have Philosopher's Rock at Barton Springs, which shows Roy Moody, Betatrek, and Webb, three Austin historians, which are literary giants from way back then, sharing a talk. I like how some of them are chubby and they still did them like that. Then we have Angelina Eberly. She is the reason why Austin is still the capital of Texas. She prevented the theft of the state archives by shooting a cannon and waking everybody up. So she is definitely a hero, or else Houston would have been our capital. Ooh, Houston. You can't talk about Austin without talking about Woody Nelson. And there he is at the W Hotel. Make sure to stop by and say hi to him and pose with a picture and remember all the great music he's provided us over the years. The guy's amazing and talented. And right in front of the Moody Theater. Once you're at UT, you can't go wrong with looking at the water fountains there with the mermen and the seahorses and the goddess of liberty, I think that's her. Then we have boring old George Washington. Uh, took a lot of statues down because of the Confederacy. And so at the mall there at UT, he's the only one standing. Then on campus, we have Martin Luther King Jr. Of course, I don't really need to tell you much about him. Everybody knows him and his fight for civil war. Civil rights, I mean. And we have the great Cesar Chavez, a personal hero of mine. So you can see the pedestal, it's nicely done with grapes and an Aztec warrior. And I like the calm determination in his eyes. Then one of my favorite statues, Barbara Jordan. Look at her, look how strong she looks. She was a senator, congresswoman, and fighter for civil rights. I like how they added the glasses there. Then we have the Mustangs at UT, which celebrate the history of the importance of the Mustang to the Native Americans and to the Cowboys of Texas. And on the other side, we have the Smilodon at the Texas Memorial Museum. I love Smilodons, aka saber-toothed tigers. I think they're the same thing. But one is scientifically named. But you can go there and pet it. And of course, the Olmec head. I love the giant Olmec head that Mexico donated to the university. Go and say hi, pick its nose. You can stop next door to that and see LBJ, who is a tall guy, as you can see. And also right outside of the university is the world's biggest longhorn, named after the Texas Longhorns, of course. You can go there and get all prideful and cheer for Texas. And we have Stevie Ray Vaughan, just south of downtown with great views of Town Lake and the buildings. The great bluesman, the great guitarist, who was taken way too soon from us. So those are it, those are some of the great statues of Austin. Go and check them out, make a list, go see them, check it twice, and thanks for watching.